The goal of this video is to save you time by showing you the shortcuts and tricks we use in Arc every single day to get things done fast. Time is a very valuable resource, so why waste it, especially in a program we use like every single day. There are three ways to do most things in Arc. You can use the user interface, which is a fancy term for just pointing and clicking at stuff. You could use the keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Command D, or you could type the action in the URL bar and perform it if it is an option there. Keyboard shortcuts is the fastest way to do things, and I prioritize using keyboard shortcuts whenever I can. The problem, of course, with keyboard shortcuts is you have to learn them and then practice them and then use them. Luckily, Arc makes learning most, but not all, of the keyboard shortcuts very easy. All you have to do is hover over something and the keyboard shortcut will pop up. We learned in the last video that the URL bar also provides shortcuts to actions when available. One final way to look up keyboard shortcuts is by typing in shortcuts and clicking edit keyboard shortcuts. This brings up the shortcut menu in the settings section of the app and we can search by action or we can actually type in the keys themselves. So if I type in command W, we see that archive tab is command W. Wonderful, Arc, thank you for that list. But I'm just gonna tell you the keyboard shortcuts that are the most crucial that you're gonna use probably every single day in Arc. Let's get started. Control tab brings up what probably looks pretty familiar. This is the tab switcher, which is just like the app switcher in Mac, but it lets you switch just tabs within Arc. This is particularly useful if you want to go to a tab that is in a different space than the one you are currently in. So as you see here, I just went to Netflix, which is in my chill space. And if I want to go back to kittens, I can do that and it switches the space for me. Another useful thing you can do here is just use the mouse to quickly navigate. It's better than hitting tab a billion times. Jump to any tab in your favorites by pressing command followed by the number of that tab. Now, let's say we are looking for a cat to adopt. Naturally, we want to look at a variety of cats and pick the best one. But when Whenever I click on a cat, it will go into its own website. And then you have to go back and sometimes it will just reload back to the top, which is pretty annoying because then you lose your space in this little scroll menu. Luckily, there is a better way. If I hold down command and click, I will open up the link in a separate tab. Now I have all of these to go to. The fastest way to get to all of these is by holding down option, command, down arrow, and I can just quickly go through each one. If I hit up arrow, of course it goes back up. Easy enough. There is also something called a peak window. If I hold down shift and click this, it will not navigate completely to that other part of the website. As you see behind here, we're still on the main site, but this little sub menu pops up. And from here, I can look, get what I need, and we can close this with command W. Or if we do want to open it up in a new tab, we can do that with command O. There we have it. And just so you know, if this peak menu does not work, all you have to do is open up settings, go to link, and then make sure this is checked off right here. Now, I picked out my favorite cats and I know it is these four. If I want to send them to the cats I like folder, instead of clicking and dragging one at a time, I can hold down command, click on each one, and then hit command T. This brings up the URL bar that we can also type actions to. I forget the name of the command, so I'll just type in cats I like because that's the name of the folder. And we have two actions we can pin to the folder or we can open the folder. I want to pin the selected tabs to the folder, click enter and boom, all four are sent in one fell swoop. Do people even say that? I don't know where that came from. Anyway, now that we have the cats we like, we can clear the rest of these and send them to the archive by hitting command shift K. Digital minimalism. Look at us. Very trendy. A couple of other quick commands. You can copy the URL of the site you are on by hitting command shift C as we see right here. And if we have something on our clipboard that we want to actually Google search for, I just highlighted Maine Coon. I copied it. We can hit option command V and it will open a new tab and automatically search that for us. Command Y will instantly bring up our search history. And if we zoom into something and want to zoom back out to 100%, we can do that very quickly by hitting command zero. Lastly, command L will let let us change what is in the current URL without opening a new tab. So I can type in Bangle Cat and there we go. No new tab. It's a little bit sleeker. And finally, there's a feature that I find particularly satisfying, which is the custom search. Say I want to YouTube how to adopt a kitten. I can just type in YouTube here and without even finishing it, I can just hit tab and this pops up. If I type in how to adopt a kitten, hit enter, it will open a new tab with YouTube already searched for that query. This works with very popular sites out the box. You got Google, Amazon, Spotify, etc. And if you want to add your own custom one, we can do that too. Let's add Pinterest. In order to do that, we go to the general sections in the settings tab and hit search settings. Surprise pop quiz. I navigated here in three steps. Can you do it in one step? 
let me know. Anyway, we have custom search engines here, which we see DuckDuckGo, for example, which means I can hit Command T, type Duck. Duck go. I see it popped up. I just have to hit tab and now I can search for kittens here. There we go. Use duck, duck go, which is wonderful. But what I showed you with YouTube is the site search here. All the sites we have available are here. If we want to add one, just click add and let's add Pinterest. So I'm going to do Pinterest up here. This could be basically anything. It's just the name that will pop up in the URL bar. Now the shortcut is what we want to type in order to trigger it. I usually just have it be, you know, the name of the site itself. And finally, is the URL replaced with percent %s in place of the query. What? What does that mean? Don't worry, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is open up the site. Let's go to Pinterest.com, search for kitten. Let's go over to the URL and copy the entire thing. We have a bunch of fancy stuff after Pinterest.com, which you don't need to understand. All you have to do is paste the entire URL and look for the thing that you searched. So I searched kitten and what I'm going to do is that is my kitten actually. What you're gonna do is find kitten and replace it with this percent %s, which you have right here. Hit add, and now anytime I type in Pinterest, I see it pops up, don't even have to finish typing it. Hit tab, and now we can look up anything we want in Pinterest, lickety split. And that does it, and that, and that does it, and that does it, homework, oh my. Yikes. And that does it for this tutorial, homework, just practice. And before my cat explodes, just so you know, the next video is gonna have some other advanced features like easels and split views and notes and excited to see you there, peace.